Hello and welcome back to episode 19 of Control. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So, um, at the end of episode 18, I gave up on this little side quest because I don't think that I have the power that I need. Which means that I need to get back to tracking the correct mission. so that we can get on with our day. Containment is where I belong. Ah, and I should be going north from logistics. Okay. Oh. Sides. I will start with you. Thank you very much. Jimmy, I can't talk to you right now. Because I'm dead. No, hush. I hope the recording is actually capturing that noise that I'm responding to. Otherwise, I'm just going to look like a lunatic. Maybe that would be for the best. Lunatics are fun, right? Okay, going this way. Those guys did not appreciate that I took out their healer. And really, who can blame them? In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all mankind. Look at that. They even get names. <laughs> no tomb of the unknown soldier here. Medical wing. Thank you very much. No, thank you. No machine guns. Your friendship is appreciated. Should have made him my friend. Can you be my friend? Is your mama a llama? I have nothing to add to that question. Level six clearance, don't have that. Looks like there's something upsetting in there. Shelter gonna take a guess that there are no survivors in here. None.
I, I do not like the uh, mold zombies. <clears throat> no, thank you. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Bottleneck for the win. Yes. More? There's more. Oh! You stop that. There's two of them. I detected a second one. Where is it? The deceased was a redacted year old redacted with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's plural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. Probably should have done that earlier. The procedure was also hindered by, hindered by anomalies such as the deceased high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably but not provably caused by trapped gases. Routine samples as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill. Is there a Dr. Baggins? Were successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Don't eat mold. It's gross. That includes blue cheese. Seriously. It's, it's just nasty. Oh. Ammo refund? Well, it's a level 4 mod, which means I want it. All right, so we picked that up and we will now immediately forget about it. And there is still somebody that was shooting at me. Where are you at? That was not a deliberate discharge. Somebody seriously shot at me though. Jimmy, I told you to hush. Was the shooting at me just that one guy bending his bullets? Interesting. So we're hearing we're hearing the hiss now, but I didn't hear the hiss in the mold area. Are the mold and the hiss in competition? shelter down there. There's a... Oh, there's a pull cord over there. Don't have a level 6 clearance yet. Didn't think I did. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. While the continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous redacted and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, 
with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, cultivating, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in redacted handlers. So what do we got? We got a Mandela effect globe. altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. I hope the audio on that one came through okay. Uh, it sounded fairly quiet to me, and it's going to be a pain in the booty to make it louder without just destroying the rest of it. Maybe I can just cut that one section. Hopefully I remember to do that. I just had a thought. Dylan is related to the hiss. Seems kind of inescapable now that I've thought about it. I thought I was going on this whole cool little detour and then I found some secret stuff but all along I had to go that way this place is massive and there are offices everywhere and I've found like maybe maybe a few tens of people not counting all the floaty ones p6 is what the bureau calls dylan his cell's been breached has the hiss found him are you there with him can you protect him is it possible to protect him when he is the problem one oh to who here we go again on our own going down the only road we've ever known hmm I liked I liked the laughing better has that always been what happens Mm -mm -mm. 
Not, not a fan. Okay. I think that's probably a good thing. Those lights weren't always blue, were they? Was that it? Did I just accidentally the puzzle? Uh. Yeah, I, I accidentally the puzzle. The screaming stopped. Hopefully that's good news. One, two, and three. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Well, they were certainly different, Jesse. And I have a feeling he's gonna think they were harder. Hey! Gentlemen. Oh dear diner coffee thermos. Yo, no unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected, but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo, logo of the Odeer Diner located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. The item responds to formula I1 I.16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter the qual its quality, before being poured into the item. Sounds like we do know what the effect is. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring AWE, See Bright Falls AWE case file for further information. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, see Prime Candidate Program entry for further information. I recognize that name, Alan Wake. Is that a reference to another video game? Who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos had been seen redacted, collecting similar thermoses for an redacted purpose. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. Yeah, this is a they're Category wasted. 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And How many things am I going to touch? Call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Hey, 
Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Yeah. It's the funny it's number. The Panopticon. Dylan is close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Look, Jesse, I, I know Dylan's like a big deal, but, um, always the object of power. Always. And also, you know, all of these. Ha ha. You're upstairs where I'm not. resume and you have the necessary qualifications fire break That's okay, I didn't really have any spots for long-term hires anyway. I think this place might turn out to be a bit of a slog. It's a mailbox in a sound-damping room. It's a hand basket. And that barrier was shattered. Okay, and it was made out of black rock. Uh, an oscillating fan. I love how mundane all of these objects are. Sledgehammer? Okay. Um, oh. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. I think that saying that something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make him the next director might be statement. Oh. Unoccupied. It's the refrigerator. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. 
Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Dude's gonna pee his pants. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't do that right now, which is too bad, because I actually do want to do it. Okay. Now I can safely get killed. Another unoccupied cell. Hmm. I believe we're closing in on something. shoot through some barriers. Like that one. Good work, soldiers. Anything? No. How about down here? Employees. Jerk. I don't have very many of those left. Okay, so this is the spot we saw on the security monitor. I'm kind of impressed that that's enough to stop the door. This has definitely been here. Of power. I need to cleanse it. Love it. Very Doctor Strange. Uh huh. Okay. Alpha strike. Alpha strike. How about now? That's not cool. Ooh, it's a boss. I 
last long. Too far away. Can't take him. me of the uh or like revenants from doom that hey hey was salvador the head of security his team didn't stand a chance against the hiss no one here does well good thing i found this otherworldly friend to bring with me. And what happened to the... Okay. The TV. The Hedron thingies. Another object of power going nuts. Why aren't they we protecting these people? The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the Redacted. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew redacted by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the redacted res rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White, White Ocelot's last known coordinates, redacted, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the Redacted to the U.S. port of Redacted. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via the Redacted. All right, television, you work for me now. <laughs> Use the TV slash babysitter. All right, so this is my new power. Oh, look at that. Okay, so... Yeah. There's an angry cloud over there. And what am I going to do about the angry cloud? I'm going to avoid it. Can I... Nope, I don't want to do that. So this power doesn't use my energy, even? Okay, so I can fall and I can slow fall. I 
I like it. Newsflash all points bulletin. Okay. Mm. Down with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Dylan. Okay, so I can only go up when I'm first launching. Cool. I would like to be left alone, please. So I'm thinking that this opens up a whole bunch of stuff for me. And that is stuff that we will check out in episode 20 of Control, because we are out of time. So I will talk to you again soon.